这个耶。Thanks for joining back. Uh, so we were on this slide, um, the duties of a social service manager in general, a good social service manager is required to decipher the demands that is to try to understand the demands of the sector itself that he or she is serving and then he or she acts accordingly, depending upon what are the demands of that particular sector, the social service sector, uh, the, the demands of that particular social service sector and the subsector there. Next, a good manager, of course, is a good leader. So he has to play the role of a leader. He builds a responsive, cohesive and a harmonious environment. Then he encourages transparency in dealing and fair communication. He encourages his staff, he encourages his subordinates, he encourages his team members to you know, have fair communication. He encourages, uh, you know, he encourages transparency. He, you know, uh, encourages open door policy. He tries to build a responsive, cohesive, and a harmonious environment. Now, since social work is a specialized field and attracts empathy, a good social work manager must be vigilant to the needs of his staff. He must see that his staff or subordinates are not, or the team members are not subject to stress owing to the assignments handled by them, nor permit them to go overboard in rendering their services to the social project. Sometimes it happens that social workers by nature may go overboard, you know, in a sense, they get passionate about you know, serving a particular cause, they get passionate about it, and then they might, you know, you know, try to even stress themselves out uh, for achieving a particular target or achieving a particular goal. For example, obliterating literacy or wiping out, uh, sorry, obliterating illiteracy or wiping out illiteracy. So they might go overboard. Suppose they're social work teachers. So they might go overboard and start training the students. Uh, you know, they'll gather students, they gather children, and they'll start training them, training them even at the cost of their health. Sometimes it happens because the profession is such that, uh, you know, normally uh, social workers, there is a possibility because they have this element of empathy in them, you see. So it is a requirement as well as it is a characteristic that is reflected in a social worker. So they are passionate about what they do. Sometimes they can go above and beyond to serve the society, above and beyond, like, and go and help someone. Like, for example, in case it is, for example, a war zone. So there are, there is, a, say, a social work team which goes to, you know, supply food or water. So they might, you know, just go and try to serve the needs of the people uh, in the war zone area or the civilians there who are affected. Actually, civilians are, are not to be uh, normally targeted at war, but sometimes it happens there are war crimes where civilians are targeted. It happens. And of course, it has happened in the recent past. I would not go into the international politics there, but I'm sure you're witness to that and you have been following news recently. So sometimes it happens and, you know, when countries war against each other, sometimes they target even civilian areas which are not permitted according to international laws. So who comes to the aid is, of course, the social work teams. They come to their aid and sometimes they may, they're passionate about supporting people. They're passionate about protecting people. They're passionate about protecting children. So in the recent war between Russia and Ukraine, there was social work teams you know, which overworked and, you know, put themselves into the danger zone and protected little children and helped them to, you know, be transported across the border. 
So what is the role of a social work manager there or the team leader of any particular team who is a manager or who is a leader of a team or who is the head of the team, whatever you want to call it, but the one who heads a particular group, social work group or social work organization, whatever. So the role he plays is that he sees that his team members, the ones whom he's leading, they do not go overboard. They do not do something over and above um, at the risk of their own life at the risk of their own life or something that you know would harm them so that's one of the role that he plays so that you see here so this is something different from the other sectors from the other professions of course there are other professions also like who go overboard in some other area in some other field but the example that i've given you is about how a social work leader or a social work manager supports his people, supports his staff and advises them and tries to, you know, create a structural, structured working pattern or tries to create boundaries to their work uh, uh, with respect to their contribution towards a particular social project. So thereby a good social worker or a social work manager is alert, he is brisk, He's vigilant and he renders justice to his team. He's the advocate, he advocates the social cause, he mentors his team, he leads his team, he advises his team, he takes accountability, though there is the concept of collective accountability, he acquaints himself with each member. That means he knows each member, he acquaints himself, he tries to learn about each and every team member, knows their capacity, their capability, and allocates tasks to them according to their capacity, their capability, he encourages the team, and he knows where the strengths and the weaknesses of the team members or even the team as a whole lies. So this is all today we have learned about social work management. We saw how it is slightly different from business management and what's the role of a social service manager. Every professional manager has his or her I mean, different roles are the, for example, we have project managers, it depends, it depends, they have different roles to play, different types of managers you have, legal manager, project manager, finance manager, HR manager, each have diff different roles to play. Management principles are allowed or, or in fact are used in every field. However, in social work, there are certain things that are different than the other fields of work. So this is all for today. Let me take your attendance again. Um, before we move, for, uh, before I take your attendance and before I forget, your second assignment is already posted online. I'm repeating, second assignment. The due date for the first assignment is of course today, 11th of August by 11.59 p.m. It has to be uploaded in the Google Classroom. Please refrain from sending me emails on your, uh, you know, on your uh, assignments. I have no problem in receiving your emails. You're always welcome. But the assessment or the allocation of marks will be done only when it is uploaded in Google Classroom. There's a purpose for it because you have a marks list which is going to be exhibited there. So that's the reason. Well, I have no problem in, uh, you know, accepting uh, in, in the sense, uh, you know, in receiving your emails, I have no problem, but let's go by the rules and please try to upload it online. And uh, the second assignment is already there and the due date is 25th of this month, 25th of August. Plagiarism, that means cut, copy, paste from any other source material online or whatever is highly discouraged and that would you know, attract minus five marks because uh, you just copy and paste, it's of no use. So we are asking you to write down a particular topic. That means we're assessing your mind on how you're writing the topic. So in case there is cut, copy, paste, so it's going to be minus five. Delayed submission, minus one per day of default. Extension of date, seven days. There'll be seven days extension of date, but for that, there has to be a reasonable cause. Breakdown of computer, last moment, work, study imbalance, these kind of reasons will not be permitted. 
So, well, that's all from my side. Um, at your request, uh, uh, I began holding the class at, uh, you know, 7 p.m. your time. So, all those who are absent today, you can encourage them to come for the next class. Um, this Ali Adam who has raised his hand, you have anything to ask me? Yes, Ali? Yes, Ali. Okay. Um, so we meet the next class, same time. That is every Thursday. And you know the time, the time that you have asked me for. Take care and bye-bye. Good night.